Hello everyone, Mary Ann here, Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I want to do the tarot scopes for fire signs for the month of September 2024. Um, I'm giving it a go and seeing if I have got the energy and the health to do these, but I think I, I think I should be right. Let's get going. Uh, this is for your sun sign rising or if your moon is in any of the fire signs, you might want to check this reading out. It's a general reading though. It's, uh, it won't apply to everyone. If it does, claim it. If not, move on. Uh, also be aware there are scammers about pretending to be very various psychics and tarot readers. If you have anyone approach you for money or, or a reading, it's not me. I don't do personal readings. I'm too busy reading for the collective at this time. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. I'm using the Radiant Wilds tarot uh my own revealing light oracle uh tarot which uh, re revealing light oracle deck details of which are on my website and if i need some clarification i've got the sibylla um oracle cards but let's get started and see what we've got coming in for uh for aries and i want to say also that um i will endeavor to do tarot monthly tarot scopes but if i don't Bear in mind, I've got a good reason uh, for pulling back and that's um, because, you know, I've had a health health issue or a flare up of a health issue. But until further notice, here we go. This is five signs for September 2024. All right, let's have a look at Aries. What can you show me for Aries? Uh, let's go right into the Aries energy, cardinal sign. Cardinal fire sign Aries, ruled by Mars, associated with the first house of the zodiac, all about I identity. Um, it's about new beginnings. It's about the beginning of something. Uh, so let's feeling into Aries energy. What am I seeing? So I am seeing uh, somebody holding either a daughter or a daughter, a, a grandchild, either a grandchild or a child. Um, it's somebody I think I'm seeing light, lightish hair, blondish hair. Um, and I'm associating the color blue around it. So it could even be the, the birth of a boy child. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that. Uh, it's like you're going to see them um, because I can see someone visiting a mother and a child. What else can you show me? Uh, about Aries, the Aries energy. What do you want to show me about a the Aries energy? Aries energy. So I'm seeing hiking poles as well. Someone grabbing for uh, for a hiking pole. Uh, somebody could be going on a hiking expedition or holiday. Um, but there's a sort of a feeling of, of the of the great outdoors in in that uh, clairvoyant image. Anything else? Um, these won't be for everybody. I'm seeing a medal. It's got ribbons on either side. Uh, it's, it could even be a brooch. It could be meaningful for somebody. Um, anyway, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Aries, what's coming up for Aries in the month of September 2024? Aries, what's coming up for Aries? Issues, opportunities, <sighs> luck problems and challenges if you must <laughs> what's coming up for Aries in September what's coming up for Aries in September okay so we get the five of swords I was going to say the seven of swords because that's what I saw the five of swords that can be sabotage it can be somebody like an abuse here or it could be self-abuse as well that's the signifier card let's see if things get better six of swords moving on for from uh from this abuse okay so right up out of the gate spirit wants to let you know that you are actually for those who have been um suffering some sort of abuse or you know they 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 may have actually unconsciously been sabotaging themselves. It could be a workmate or, you know, some sort of relationship where there is sabotage and abuse involved. Well, spirit wants to say it's very highly unlikely that you get the five and the six. And the distinct message here uh, in a shuffle of 78 cards, the distinct message here is that 
Spirit wants to know that you are moving on or are, are about to move on in September. So we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, some uh, situation has been very, very, very difficult um, for you, almost like you've had the world on your shoulders and it's a struggle to keep carrying that load. So you, it looks like you're moving on from that situation. In the past, we have the Five of Wands and Fives are all about change. And this is about competitiveness. Can be families, family and other close relationships it can be division and and everyone has their own agenda and people fighting against one another that's in the past okay so this could be a family situation i'm seeing for some the ten of cups talks about families uh, and it's that tenth cup of love loving families and so that's what's crowning this reading and for some yes there's a new arrival coming through now we have the uh, page of swords that's a young person air energy libra aquarius gemini uh, and this is about um, having a, a clarity getting clarity on a situation and being able to take those first tentative steps forward into uh, this newness and out of this troubled waters. Now we have the chariot in the present so things are moving very very quickly. This uh, resolution of this situation could have come quite uh, quite as a surprise and events will move very very quickly because the environment around is the page of cups and uh, that can be a surprise. So some of you if you haven't, are about to get a surprise. It's a good surprise. Okay, let's see what's in the hopes and fears. Unity and coming together, the number three. This can also be a third party situation. Now, the outcome is the world. So there's a, a definite ending to your trials and tribulations and a new beginning coming. And we have here the Wheel of Fortune. It's a stroke of luck. <coughs> Aries, I'm really liking these cards for you. Major Arcana, the world, the end of a uh, of a difficult situation, and the the beginning. Or I was going to say the birth, and that baby could be meta a metaphor, the birth of something new. And then we get the King of Wands. You're right in your energy there. Um, the King of Wands stepping forward boldly. Wow, if you've been laboring under, literally I'm coming up with these metaphors, laboring under a situation that's really dragging you down, you're about to get a surprise because things are about to move forward. And I think they're with the aid of wands there, move forward fairly, fairly quickly. Let's just draw three uh, Sibylla cards for Aries in September and then we'll draw the Oracle cards can you show me Aries, please, in September? Messages for Aries in September. So we have here um, the child, okay, um, inf infantilism. So this is this can also be immaturity as well, um, or could be uh, could be somebody literally, you know, throwing some kind of tantrum here. Or, or, or the way that a child might grieve over something. Um, I don't think it's a, it's necessarily a bad thing, but it suggests a young person suggests that uh, there could be have been an argument of some sort, uh, perhaps in relation to this uh, five of wands, and it, it wasn't done with maturity, and so the outcome wasn't. Uh, was quite negative we have here love though and of course this fits with the reading this could literally be uh new relationships um but i suggest it's more a, a smoothing over of troubled relationships or any type of troubled relationship you have and we have a, a lot of money okay well doesn't necessarily have to be a lot of money but you did get the wheel of fortune with the world card and so luck is turning in your favour in September. Okay, um, and the base of the pack is a letter. So you could uh, you could be hearing some news in relation to, as I said, a new birth, um, a fortunate situation in, uh, in September. Right, let's pull on the um, oracle cards before we move on to Leo. All right, Leo. Oh, sorry, Aries. Let's keep going with Aries for the moment. 
this is a very much a spiritual oracle so let's see what are spirits messages for Aries in September show me Aries in September and so we get here make it happen what do you love to do that's the question do what you love and love what you do and this is your energy this is about getting motivated again this is about doing finding the things whether it's paid or unpaid work uh, whether it's community or family work whether it's work for yourself whether it's artistic creative work it's about refining your passion again and then we get motivation the hardest part of the climb before the summit keep going and this is uh saturn energy so this is about timing this is about the hard yards having been done and you're about to reach the summit and we have strength here leo energy interestingly enough self-knowledge self-acceptance and awareness of your value are worth contemplating and this is as i said looking at what makes you strong what makes you resilient so interesting month um way shower like you're coming into your own yes you are the keeper and the teller of your truth so there's a a new strength coming through in september particularly for those who have been feeling a little bit battered about by a particular situation it's going to be resolving or getting better or there's a uh, a lucky break coming for some areas in in September. Let's move on to Leo at 1139. Leo 1139. Interesting uh, set of numbers. Angel uh, spiritual numbers. Number 11. Three again. Uh, spiritual awareness. And nine is like a renaissance. So... Uh, let's see what's happening for uh, for Leo. Something about change there in those numbers as well. What's happening for Leo in September? Let's see if we can tune in clairvoyantly. Sometimes I will get a picture for you. I'm straight away seeing a landscape. Um, it's an old landscape with a lightning tree in it. That's interesting. This is about what no longer serves you. It's about uh, learning to look at where there's no growth, um, and something that's finished with, and it's about putting your efforts into those, those things that yield the most growth for you, whatever that growth might be. It might be financial, it might be spiritual, intellectual whatever that growth is uh but there's something historic about this photo as well uh and so this could be not going back to old situations that you may have or old ways of handling things that you may have done so in the past this is about looking at where the new growth is and acting accordingly not wasting time on what is no longer serving you Leo in September. Can you show me Leo in September? So we have here the magician. That's good. That's um, that's uh, fire energy. The magician is somebody that manifests something. That's a good uh, first card out. What are you manifesting? King of Wands. Okay, so there is a project, a plan, something that you're working on that you are bringing. These are very strong signifier cards. Good month for fire signs in September. You're manifesting something and you're going to step right into it. And it's coming into your um, range of vision in September. But first, there's something you need to finish with. Uh, as I said, with that lightning tree. You need to find uh, find a way with this new situation of new growth. And we have the page of cups at the foundation of the reading. This is water signs, young people, children, grandchildren, but can also be a surprise, a surprise occurring that is good because you've manifested this. Uh, and it could put you in a leadership position as well. Queen of Pentacles in the past, Capricorn energy, uh, stability, having everything you need, uh, domestic resources. The moon card is here, interesting. You know, the moon card, as I said, all, all, there's something here with that lightning tree, Leo. Uh, the moon card is about volatility. It's about things coming up from the surface and having to acknowledge them. Uh, 
yeah, it can be, can be a little bit of turmoil there as well. Okay, so the Knight of Swords in the immediate future facing the truth. And once you've got the truth, you can then start to play chess. And of course, what do we need to do with strategic moves is bring ourselves into check, uh, checkmate, whatever the situation is. Uh, and there's a doorway that you're going to be walking through. Interestingly enough, looking like with a lot of moons there. So this could also be, because I'm getting the moon image so strongly in the cards, could be something to do with new moons and full moons as well. Full moons bringing things to completion, new moons stepping forward into the new. Now we have in the present judgment, it's an inevitability when we see that judgment card. It's also karma. And then we get the Wheel of Fortune. So I think for Leos, if something hasn't gone your way, there's a reason for it. You were meant to see that. You were meant, even if, if it is learning how to handle certain uh, situations that take you nowhere and find another pathway forward. Seems like that's what you're doing, Leo. Uh, hopes and fears the past. Okay, so why is that a fear? Why do you fear the past? Is it failure? Uh, what do you hope for? Uh, it can be a hope that uh, the past can also be very nostalgic. Um, it's a water energy it's one of love um and so you've got that hope there as well now we get the um outcome card is letting go of something now let's see what this death card is it's talking about the end of something um and we get like an upside moon there and we've got all the colors of the chakras so this is uh this is about learning to have hope ah oh, lovely the star the death star something is finished and then we have the hope here, hope card here, which is the, like the North Star. What is your North Star? And then we get the Hierophant. Beautiful. The Hierophant card is, is you know, as dealing with authorities. It can be institutions, um, government, banks, etc. There's something hopeful that you thought may have been over, but there's something help, hopeful about to start. And then we get Six of Pentacles. You get what you're seeking you get the help that you're seeking could even be a monetary loan for example this these are good cards hence the wheel of fortune so if you've been feeling that your luck has um left you for a short time leo it's about to come back in september in a big way so let's get some three messages for uh leo for september three cards what do, you, what do you want to say about the general luck that seems to be on the cards for Leo after something that was a dead end has finished? Okay, what do you need to say to Leo? So we get uh, protector. Okay, that's good. Looks like something you're being protected in a way. Um, what do you need to say to Leo, the protector? You've got protection in relation to something. Could be even in relation to your luck. Uh, and we have a blonde woman. Okay, so get on the lookout for maybe the blonde woman who may be helpful to you and bring that luck forward. And then we have love. Okay, love, love. Um, okay, so... I mean, these are very old cards, the Sibylla. They're not, they're not literally love. Can be a fortunate event brought about. Um, luck is protecting you in a fortunate event. But also when I get the blonde woman or, the, you know, the dark-haired woman, uh, it can literally be that. Um, let's see what else is there. And we get trapped. Okay, so here's the lightning tree and the warning here. Do not fall for the same things that tripped you up in the past, Leo. One more and we get a widow here. Okay, so a widow is can be loss. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll become a widow. It just means loss. So, you know, really, these are good cards. You're going to get something that is fortunate for you. But there's that light tree there and it's, there's a caution here not to fall in to the same traps that you may have uh, that you may have fallen into before with the flatterer on at the base of the uh, of the card uh, of the pack 
you know, you might, somebody might flatter your e ego. And if, for example, you're going for a loan or, you know, a new job or whatever, and you take less of a condition or you take a higher interest rate or whatever it is, really you need to slow down and be quite savvy and get advice before you make any decisions. If you're someone who runs into things, rushes into things, don't. Step back, consider, be considerate about it and then move forward because the cards are good that you have. Uh, but there is a caution there for you. Okay, now three uh, messages from Spirit for, from the Revealing Light Oracle for Leo. What can you tell me about Leo? What can you tell me about Leo? And we get here perspective. Put your focus on your own inner reality to avoid living in someone else's. This is about getting the right perspective about honing in and focusing on your goals and not being waylaid or sidetracked. Um, make it happen. Do what you love and love what you do. Uh, what is it that you love to do? So this looks like you're fairly singularly, singularly focused on something here. And intuition, let go and trust yourself. So, you know, the power of Leo, when they do use their intuition, um, that's Pisces. Uh, you can u do, usually tap into your intuition by looking at how you're feeling uh, about something. If you have a gut feeling to say no, then don't. Stop. Don't do it. If the gut feeling says, gives you a green light, then once you do your homework, that's, that's a good add-on in your decision making. I feel there's a decision making point coming for you in September, Leo. All right, let's move to Sag at 2150. Sagittarius. Okay, Sag, what do you want to tell me, please? Sagittarius spirit, what's coming up? I see a pathway. I see um, it's a pathway that leads... It's got like a really ornate um, statues or ornate garden pots or, you know, like a sculptured thing at the entrance of the gate. And there's a road here up to a house. Uh, why are you showing me this beautiful driveway and this beautiful house? It's quite grand. It's quite a grand house. Okay, so are you visiting a grand house? Are you having a holiday, time away, a retreat somewhere? But there's a sense of grandeur here. Um, why, why have you shown me this? For Sagittarius in September. Sagittarius in September. It's, I, you know, it could be that you actually do actually need a holiday um, and to have a little bit of fun. Remember the last time you've had fun and then recreate that. All right, Sagittarius, maybe you just need a good old-fashioned break, Sag. Show me what I need to know for Sagittarius in September. Sagittarius in September, puppet master, somebody. You're letting other people pull your strings and you're not pulling them yourself. You're not deciding yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Make your own decisions. Cut the cords I'm hearing. I'm hearing from spirit. Cut the cords. Okay, Sag. What's coming up for Sag in September? So we have here the lovers. Okay, that's lovely. So... Uh, time with loved ones, well spent with loved ones, and we get the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, stability, uh, stability in your relationships is going to be a big feature of September. If you haven't had that, it's coming in September. We get the Six of Swords moving out of troubled waters. What has been troubling you dissipates, disappears, clears, okay, and you move to that calmer water. We have the Page of Swords in the past, so there's been a lightning bolt clarification on a situation, uh, and that's enabled this healing to take place. Sixes are all about healing, uh, and we have the Six of Swords at the foundation of your reading. The King of Pentacles in the sky crowning this reading. All the kings carry with them maturity. You've got the King and the Queen, so there's a lot of earth energy here. Uh, and a lot of groundedness and sta stability, which you may not have been feeling for quite some time. 
Two of Wands, quite a striking card, the Two of Wands, something coming to fruition in time, in time, that's, I think, is that Saturn with its rings, um, Saturn being Kronos, uh, Father Time, uh, that's in the immediate future, so what's coming to fruition in time? Have the Knight of Wands in the present, things moving very, very quickly. There's progress here in the present. And then we get the Magician. You've manifested something. What have you manifested? What have you manifested? The Two of Swords is in the hopes and fears. There's a decision you have to make. You can't put it off anymore. Sagittarius. And then we get the Wheel of Fortune. And so Fortune favouring the brave Sagittarius. Mate, go ahead and make the decision. Uh, things are going to be okay. They will turn out in your own interests. The Knight of Cups, love, an offer of love, um, feeling love. And then we get the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, standing your ground, defending yourself. And we get the Fool. You're going to push on through to that new start and take that leap of faith. Okay, it's a new it's kind of like a new era for you, Sagittarius, and you'll see signs of that in September. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. Ace of Cups, the start of something new. The Two of Cups, greater harmony in all of your relationships. Judgment and inevitability and hi the Hierophant, spirit, spirit, the divine, divine connection. Okay, let's uh, draw the um, the Sibylla for you. Actually, I'll leave these cards out. And I'll see. Six of Pentacles is pretty prominent here. Giving and receiving help. Let's do a shuffle for Sag in September. Sagittarius in September. Show me Sag in September. So we have here... Uh, Trip to the country, absolutely. Okay, so you're definitely, <laughs> you're definitely taking a trip. <gasps> there's travel here. There's journey here. Oh my goodness me! There's a message. If you were putting off a trip, go for it. And then we get a letter. A letter is coming. News of something. What's this news that you're waiting for? Infantilism. Okay, so if you've quarrelled with somebody, if there's a you know, a situation that needs repair, you might have the, you get thoughtfulness or thought, you pensive, you may be thinking about that situation and the repair of it. And then we have contrarian, contrariness and displeasure. So there's an unresolved situation here that may get resolved in September. Seems like a lot of the fire signs are getting that same message. Go ahead, resolve the situation if you can, if or if you get the opportunity. But definitely take that trip, Sage, because that was pretty clear. If you've been putting it off, take the trip. All right, let's take a look at the messages from Spirit. Messages from Spirit. Messages from Spirit. Show me what. Sagittarius needs to see here or no. Sagittarius in September. Sag in September. So we get motivation. The hardest part is just before the summit. Um, and it looks like you're about with that sat sat Saturnic energy there, Saturn energy there. You're about to reach the summit. You've been climbing for some time. Foundations. If something is out of balance, go back to the start and start again. I get the impression, Sag, you get the chance for a new, something new, a new opportunity, a new new start, a restart. Partnerships, giving and receiving their strength and unity. There is no doubt that September for you is about harmonious giving and receiving love and harmonious relationships and so September enjoy them bask in them uh, because they're coming your way manifestation you create your own abundance when you live through divine connection and I know that's what you do Sag um, and if things have been hard lately you're 
you're almost there. You're almost to the summit. But please make the time in September to take the trip, even if it's a short trip, and to enjoy harmonious uh, relationships with your family and friends and community. All right, that's it for now. Bye. I'll be back again, hopefully, next month. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.